Hey, what's up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect. Um, just to say right now, I'm sorry if this is going to be a short episode, but, like, I need to record one for Monday, but I have very little time, so, um, yes, we will see, um, let's see what we even need, so, let's look at our journal. Right. I need I need to see those two worlds. All right. So let's go to the map, and we'll have a quick look around there. Um, this might only be like twenty fifteen minutes, if that. Um, so we are at this horrible place. Okay, not here, I guess. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the diplomat's lounge on the Presidium. Wait a second. Is that all right? We're going to the Presidium. All right. So how do I get there? I have no idea. Citadel. Wait a sec. Is that the one I want to go to? Yeah. We shall see what offer she has for us. Um. Land. I'm guessing there's going to be lots of going back and forth to the Citadel. But at least those weren't the last goodbyes to Captain Anderson because I didn't really talk to him properly. I think I was supposed to. Alright, so where do I go? Bridge, I guess. Or is it here? No. Um, maybe here, where Joker is? Yeah, here. Oi. Um, biotic, um, I think we'll go for this. Unless we want tally. Nah, we don't have biotic then. We want biotic. Yep. All right, let's see what the offer is. Interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Why do I do that? Do I want to talk to him? Probably not. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. Commander Shepard. SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. 
I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Hm. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. Uh... This ship saved our lives a dozen times over. An exaggeration. I've read your reports. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Screw you, I'm going. Commander, I'm not happy. Sounds like a fairly common situation. Commander, I suggest you secure your mouth. It's going to get you in trouble. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? We use our suit or uniform radios. Anyone who needs to talk to me keys into my line. It's as if they're next to me. Which only works so long as you all have working radios. Maybe your DC drills should include sign language. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. It also makes us the fastest ship in the fleet. Without the Tantalus core, Eden Prime would be a smoking crater right now. Eden Prime does have a smoking crater on it, Commander. Don't break your arm patting yourself on the back. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment? I was told to make nice with the Council. If that means our military secrets get out, the Brass only has themselves to blame. I'm so pleased you can wash your hands of it. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? None, sir. Very well. I'll be sending my report and corrective recommendations to the Joint Military Command. Not that I expect them to do anything about it. Too many interest groups have too much money invested in this. Commander Shepard? He can go screw himself. Wait, is this where I want to go? Is there a quick port somewhere? No. Damn it. I don't want to go down to the CSEC Academy. It's going to take too long. With all this exploration of Prothean culture, this must be like a survey for you, Liara. Our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. The loss of all this Prothean technology is just one more thing Saren will have to pay for. How long does it take to use an elevator, especially when you have speed of light ships? Uh, where do I meet that spe special woman? Commander Shepard? Is this the special woman? No, I don't think so. Uh... Embassy Lounge. Sorry, gotta go. Ah, fine. Police have been seen in Algelani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? I'm not in the mood, Miss Algelani. People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. 
What do you say? So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. Hurry up. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human Spectre? The Spectres represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? Uh... The Spectre Charter allows me to complete my missions any way I see fit. That's not quite an answer, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Many details are still classified, I'm afraid. I can tell you she's a fine ship and has the best crew I've ever served with. Some members of that crew are aliens, as I recall. Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I've had enough of your snide insinuations. You son of a bitch! That was a dick move. I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Your career is over! Bullshit, bitch. Eat it. Um... Embassies. I think. Um... Oh, Prisid Embassy Lounge. So I kind of know where that is. Um. Oh, dude, this guy's still here. Damn it! I don't want to talk to him. Let's have a. Where's the lounge? I, like, is this the lounge? Oh, this lounge is right there. I remember what, what I remember what a lounge is. Um, I think this is the lounge here. Yes. Found you. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. It sounded like you needed some help. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on a cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. I'm sorry for your loss. This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive. The rest of the crew was killed, but she was. What are her missing. eyes? Look, look, look at her right to her left eye. From me in what the fuck for is wrong? Her unharmed. Coming up with the ransom seems like the best way to ensure Dahlia's safety. That's what I thought. I did what they wanted, transferred the funds to the account they specified, only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing, and if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Keep your reward. I'll bring your sister back. I promise. 
Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right man for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. She doesn't sound very pleased, so maybe I, sh I should kill her sister. Wrong place. Alright, so what do we have to do around here? I've got like... Five more minutes, maybe just a touch more. So what else can I do around here? Oh damn. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body. Yes. My wife finished her... It's service. unacceptable. I'll Thank you. Me. Please let me know what can be done. So, what do I need to do? And I have neither. <laughs> Alright, um... Where are my skills? Why is that gun? Oh, ooh, charm, obviously. Right, well, I'll go to this guy because I don't like him as much and make him want um, to give the body. I talk Hello weird. again, Commander. Can I help you? I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. Woo! It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. All right, that's how we do business, baby. I hate these doors. Hey, what's up? Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Hey, look at that. Hmm. That definitely. All right. Um. Like four more minutes. What else can we do around here? All right. What do I do with that? Dahlia. Oh. Her, okay. Um, what do I find for it? I don't know. Where's that reporter? Oh, gosh, I don't know then. Wait, what? Okay, I need to speak to that guy, wherever he is. Wait. 
Alright, he's not too far. I can walk there. Sprint. Why? Damn. I have too much fun with this, don't I? Shouldn't recoil hit because of the recoil, shouldn't it still hit? Right, where's that guy? That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? You should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Do your stuff now. Um, Alright, uh... Did I ask? Alright, so... So... To Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? I'll keep working on it. This one will continue to spread its message. Any progress with that Hanar? You're suppressing that Hanar's religious freedom. I want you to stop. I should have known that a human wouldn't respect the laws of the Citadel. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. If I purchased the evangelical permit myself, would that take care of things? As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. That would solve the issue for me. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. Just get rid of that Hanar. So how do I buy that? Where do I buy that? Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? I'll keep working on it. This one will continue to spread its message. Um, where should I get that permit? Um please do not disturb the keepers. Wait, I need to find a quick rapid transport thingy. There's one right here. No? Here. I don't want to go to the Citadel Tower. But yes, I am out of time for this episode, so thank you for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye!